Hey y'all, so welcome. It's Asia, the fumbling farmer out here. We are out here on a frigid last day of the year, 2023. And um, I'm gonna start a new project. So I'm going to be winter sowing, which is when you basically create like a mini greenhouse and plant the seeds in it. And then you just like leave them. And allegedly, they just know when they're supposed to come up and then that's what they do. And then you separate the plants and plant them. Um, and there's certain plants that need what's called stratification. So it needs to go through the seeds need to go through a cold period. And some people do that in their refrigerators um, or figure out ways to do it. Uh, but another way to do that is by putting them in these. So what I have here, I'm going to start small. Um, I know there's people who like super duper believe in it. So, or it works really well for them. I'm not going to say believe in it because it's a thing. Um, but it works well for them. And so they have like tons and tons of these. I even saw one lady with a big plastic bin. And if this works for me, I think I'm actually going to go the plastic bin method in the future. Um, but I just wanted to, before I like invest in anything, I wanted to try and see if it works. And I think what I'm going to try to plant is, ooh, where's the last one? I'm going to try to plant a uh, foxglove, delphinium, and artichoke. Now, artichoke, I don't think, well, maybe. It says seedlings require chill period, nights below 45 degrees Fahrenheit, but above freezing to, produ pre freezing to produce chokes. So I'm going to try some of these out here, too, okay? These two, um, the leaves are different enough that I'm going to put them in kind of the same space, I only have two milk jugs that I'm trying um, and I never really have good luck with foxglove or delphinium inside. I got a couple plants to grow last year and they didn't they didn't flower even though I think the seeds were from this pack and the pack says blooms every year. They didn't flower but I also had them in pots so this um, but they and they also I planted them in the ground like super late in the year or in a pot super late in the year. So there's like a whole lots of reasons why that might not have worked. So anyway, what I'm gonna to do today is I'm gonna start filling this up. So what I did first is there are holes, drainage holes drilled in the bottom of these. There's one here and one here. I just took my drill and the little drill bit and build, drilled it through, trying not to stab myself in the process. And then I drilled some on the sides, some holes on the side here too. All right, so those are, I cut this milk jug all the way around it's kind of a jagged cut a little bit and left it connected right here and now what I'm going to do is fill this part up with soil so I have my soil down here I'm going to go ahead and get started I wore this light pink pink sweater today and I knew I was going to do this video so I must really believe in my non-messy my ability to not be messy while I do this. I don't actually believe in that, by the way. But I'm going to try to be careful. Okay, so I just have some potting mix. That's what I'm using. And it was sitting outside, so it's and it rained a lot the last few days. So it is super duper wet. And I'm just going to put that potting mix kind of... Fill up that bottom portion with it and tap it down some. I know it's hard for you to see. Let me see if I can bend you some. Bring you down, far down. And let's lift you back up again. Okay, there we go. Okay, here we are. Okay, I hope the soil isn't too wet. I don't even think I'm going to water them in once I put the seeds in because it's super duper duper wet. So... We'll see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to do the fox, the flowers in this one. So here we have the fox gloves. Oh, these ones, is this not even open? I guess maybe those seeds weren't from this pack because I don't think this pack is open. But I really like fox gloves. I like the height of them. I think they look pretty. It's really cold out here and my hands aren't working correctly. So I'm like fumbling with this, trying to get it open. Come on, honey, you can do it. Okay. 
Uh, you know I like gardening because I don't like the cold, but I'm still out here. Okay. I think, oh my gosh, those seeds are like minuscule. Okay, so I do kind of want to try to get them a little spread out-ish. And I'm going to try to plant the foxglove sort of on one side. This is a lot of plants, y'all. It's crazy how like such a big plant could come from such teeny tiny seeds to me. Always seems like amazing. All right, so that's that. I'll tape that closed and put it back in my container later. And then these delphiniums, I've definitely tried to plant before. And I've never been successful with the delphiniums. So hopefully this is it. And the delphinium seeds are definitely bigger than the foxglove seeds. So I'm going to put them in here. And I don't even think I need that many. I think that's enough. And I'm just going to kind of push down a little with my little handy dandy tool here. Cover them up a little bit. Okay. Do I even want to put like soil really on top of them? The foxglove ones are so tiny. Okay. Let's press that in. Okay. So then you are supposed to close this up take your duct tape this is my gorilla glue duct tape everything is gorilla glue these days okay but i don't know why it being called gorilla glue just makes me think it's gonna work Ooh. yeah i could tell the soil is really wet because it's already draining through the bottom of the holes in here which lets me know that my drainage holes work so that's nice okay come on honey oh don't stick my fingers imagine that gardener gets her fingers stuck to gorilla glue has to go to the emergency room while creating content video that would be a crazy headline okay so that's taped up, but I'm actually going to, I think I'm going to do another tape around another time around just because that's like supposed to be where the seal is that keeps a lot of the cold out. So let me push everything down here, get you all nice and snug, and then I'm going to go do another layer around because we don't want this to be easy to open in the spring, right? Who would want that? Here we go. Okay. I think I'm going to try to go below a little bit where I did the last one. Okay, definitely works if you better if you like pull out the whole length that you need. All right. I was looking for scissors so I could use scissors instead of shears. But my kids are like really projecty kids. Like I always have construction paper and glitter and glue and paint and everything around cuz I do like them to be able to express themselves artistically but the six-year-old is still working on putting stuff away where she found it so I was looking for the scissors and then I was like you know what I know I got some of that those shears sitting out front okay so it is taped closed now and I'm going to I found this someone left it in their pockets I found it in the laundry machine does it work yep Delphinium slash foxglove. Okay, and then I'm just going to draw some flowers coming up the side here. Okay. There, that's my flower. <laughs> All right, so this one is planted. And I think now I just leave it. Uh, we come once in a while to check it for if it needs any kind of watering. So you have to look inside of it. And also I have a pretty good feel of what it feels like um, when it is very wet soil. So I think I'll also figure it out on feel too. But like I said, it's like draining like crazy on the table. So I think it has enough water for now. All right, now for my second jug, arranged the same way. There's holes punched all throughout it there. And um, 
cut so that the handle is still attached. I'm going to fill this one up with some soil now. So let's see how this goes. I always like to have a couple of bags of potting soil laying around in the winter in case some kind of projects do come up. And it's good that I did because I used this bag both to start those indoor plants that I started, like some herbs that I started, and I'm using it for this project. All right, there we go. That's filled up. Let me see, check my sweater sleeves. How am I doing? Y'all, so far so good. I got some arm gunk, but not on the sweater. Okay, push that down in there. Nice and firm. I'm not going to put my knees under the table, though, because this one is dripping, too. I hope that that doesn't, like, rot the seed or something. I might do that. But anyway, I didn't plant all the seeds, so if it does do that, we'll just try again. So, here we go. These seeds are quite a lot bigger. How many should I plant? Uh, there's five people in my family. So, we're doing five. The funny thing is, I have five pe people with me, my husband and my three kids. And he comes from a family of five, too. And I come from a family of five, too. So, five seems like a good number. Two, three. And I'm going to plant them like, like a little domino or dice configuration where it's four in each corner and then we will four in each corner and then one in the middle well not corner but you know what I mean four around the edges okay so that one is planted and now it's time for the tape so that's what I learned make it nice and long Start it on that part there, connect that, bring it around, around, around. I didn't make it long enough, that's okay. Make it a little longer. And I'm going to do this twice, so it's okay if it's not perfect the first time. Okay. Nope. Try again. All right, let me move this down a little. Sorry, my hand's in the way. Doo -doo. My videographer is out with her sister and our neighborhood friends on their trampoline running amok in their backyard. That's why it's so quiet over here right now. It's really nice to live in a neighborhood with other kids so that your kids have somebody to play with. They don't always get along. Because my girls are very opinionated. And the neighborhood kids also have their perspective on life. But when you get a long weekend like this, we've been away from their friends from school for like 14 days, then I think any friends are good friends to help pass the time. And so they're getting along pretty well together. In the summertime when they see each other like every day, then they start fighting. Okay. And this is artichoke. Okay. So. That feels like a good way to end the year is by trying something new. So I'm going to put these in um i think i'm gonna put them actually up on my planting stand and let them just hang out there um someone said put them in the shade because you don't want the plants coming up too soon because it is still very early in the year i won't be able to put them out anywhere 
but I think if they're in here, they're usually pretty well protected. So maybe I'll put them in the shade. It's been cold lately too. All right, so let me go find a, plant, a spot for them and then I'll show you kind of where their final resting place is. Not resting place, not final resting place, but where they're, ooh, the sun just went down enough behind the trees and it got dark all of a sudden. But where their little spot, they're, they're going to wait. Um, while I'm here, though, look at this. This is random. I stuck bulbs in here. I don't remember what bulbs they are, but I stuck them in this pot like last year sometime to see if they did anything and they didn't do anything. But this year they are doing something. And now it's been long enough and I haven't labeled them that I don't know what they are. So surprise, garden surprises. Like when you wear your winter coat for the first time after it was away and then you find the stuff you left in there after the summer. At the end of last winter, you okay, maybe that's just me. Anyway, y'all, thank you for coming with me on this journey. Um, I will update in future videos how my winter sewing of artichoke and delphinium and foxglove goes. Um, and thanks for hanging out with me. All right, happy gardening.